Okay, so let's go through the process of showing where the download of uh, the folding at home downloads are. We're going to uh, just simply Google folding at home, and probably the first hit is the uh, their website foldingathome.org, and you can click on Start Folding now to get the client. Now the the software is available for both Windows as well as under alternative downloads for Mac OS and for several Linux distributions. We're going to uh, download the installer for Windows in this situation. I've already pre-downloaded it here. It is uh, approximately 30 megabytes in size. Now we're going to install and run the tool and you could run it anonymously and participate anonymously if you want. It's also kind of fun if you want to join a team uh, just to sort of add some fun camaraderie to this. The team that I first discovered this uh, important tool for was uh, this Canadian goofball. His name is Linus and uh, he runs a, a very popular uh, YouTube channel called Linus Tech Tips out of Vancouver very smart group of people and they are running a folding at home team that is uh, rocketing up to the top um, so if you want to actually assist if your computer is going to participate in in doing any folding and you want to join a team and and hop on to the fun you can join the Linus Tech Tips team you just simply have to specify the team number at the time of installation it's it's pretty easy to do the team number is right here, 223518, but oh, we'll do that in a second. Let's go through the process of installing the, the client. It's not that difficult to do. We'll just simply agree. We'll do a custom install so you can see that it installs in a destination folder and uh, there's a data directory I'll keep. And then it's going to start the folding at home automatically at start time. And they do recommend uh, using the screensaver, so I'll just check that off. And then the client will install. And you don't have to join a team. You can just let it participate anonymously if you want. But if you want to add to the to the team success and become a, a Canadian dominant force in this uh, effort, that'd be kind of cool. So the uh, software is installed. I'm going to hit finish to start the tool. And the, the tool itself is actually running in the background. Um, it's unbelievably busy right now. And so the tool may, the folding at home client may actually not be able to uh, fetch a, uh, a unit of work for uh, working on right now, but that's totally fine. I'll just show you a bit of this interface here. You can manually pick the type of disease that the folding at home will look for. I've personally just checked any disease and it will move over to the COVID-19 automatically. But you can specify Alzheimer's, Cancer's, Huntington's and Parkinson's, all also protein folding related illnesses that uh, your computer can participate in. And uh, down here, you can you can specify a little bit of settings as to whether or not it folds while you're using the computer all the time, or when you're, whenever your computer is idle. Um, and I've noticed here that uh, the client has actually fetched a work unit. The it's my machine is actually now folding, which is great. I can adjust here the uh, amount of power that my computer currently uses. I can. Uh, leave it on medium if I wanted to or bring it down to light or all the way to full and, and that will have performance impact on your computer if you just sip, lift, simply left it at medium or light you probably won't notice a tremendous load on your computer most of our computers are not even used fully or fully utilized there's also a bunch of options if you wanted to go further down here to the folding uh, option in the sys tray you can adjust the full medium and light and actually go into advanced control to modify things as well but we don't necessarily need to do that but what I am interested in if and you are as well I, it's kind of nice to go in and just per, add your contribution to the to the Linus Tech Tips team so I just simply copied that team number and I go here to change identity 
I can put in a particular user's name. I'll just put in my name just to be wise. And then I'm going to put in the team number. I'm actually going to put in underscore. I believe that was mandatory. And then the team number. And uh, optionally, if you wanted to add some security, you can go through the process of creating a, a pass key so that nobody else can use your name or number. But that's not really necessary for your use of this tool. I'll just hit on save. And in a few moments, I hope, I'll be showing, yep, I have my, this computer has been added to several other computers that I've been uh, participating with. I've actually accumulated quite a few points uh, since I first started this a few days ago, and my work unit uh, totals are being contributed to the Linus Tech Tips team to, to, uh, to share. So that's really essentially how you get uh, the, the folding at home client installed and configured with a specific identity and you just it's working it's done you don't have to do anything else from this point on